Hello, hello! Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm doing a special, uh, special edition video, I guess you could say, of a contest entry, the very first one I've ever done. This is my first contest entry, and I'm uh, entering uh, Rockboy680. James, you uh, have a wonderful channel, you've hit a big milestone, and I'm here to uh, enter your 5,000 contest, 5,000 subscribers contest. Wow, what a huge milestone. Um, you know, I've, I'm really new to YouTube, and uh, to, for you to hit 500,000 subs, I mean, a half a million subs, it's, it's just unbelievable. I, in my wildest dreams, I could never imagine hitting 5 million subs. Um, you know, that's, that's, you know, bigger than the size of this, the state of Texas to hit 5 million like that. So, James, of course, I'm joking. It's 500 subs. Very proud of you. Um, you know, you've been at this a long time. You're extremely talented at your videos. They're very enjoyable. And I'm just having a bit of fun. So, congratulations, Rockboy680, on 500 subs. So, you've got some, con you've got some contest questions that you want us to answer. And that's what I'm here to do, and I've got them all listed here from your, from your video entry, and I'm just going to get right to it so it's not terribly long. Um, but you've got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, uh, about 20 questions, I think it is. No, I'm joking. It's five questions, and uh, they're all great questions, so I'm just going to plow right through them. Um, I've put some thought into it. I think I know how I'm going to answer them, and um, hopefully you'll you'll enjoy uh, hearing my responses. So here we go. Question number one: What is the first record you played on your current record player? Well, I've had my current record player for about um, three years, I'd say, uh, maybe a little bit less than three years, somewhere between two and three years, and it's uh, it's a Moran 6100. Um, it's an old vintage thing from the 1980s. I absolutely love it. It's a beast. It uh, pumps out the sound. It does everything I want it to do, and it's just uh, an immaculate turntable. And uh, you know, until it poops out on me, I'm just going to keep it going. The uh, first record I ever played um, on that system is probably one that's going to surprise you. It is uh, this beautiful record here that I'm showing now. This is uh, Magoo and Hi-Fi, Magoo the cartoon, uh, Mr. Magoo. I don't know if they aired that in the UK or not, but it's just a wonderful um, little cartoon. Uh, cartoon records are one of my favorite things in the whole world. And you can see here on side two, it's got, or on the flip side, it's got Magoo and Hi-Fi. And then the other side says it is uh, Mother Goose. So, of course, I'm joking again. This is not the first record I ever played on my turntable. But, you know, it's kind of a cute record. Maybe it should have been. Um, the first record I ever played for real on my turntable, the current system I have, is this beauty. And I believe it's one that you have in your collection as well. And the reason I picked this record before I put it up here is because I know exactly how it's supposed to sound. Um, I've played it God knows how many times, and I just knew exactly what it should sound like. So I decided this should be my first spin on the new turntable, because I, I knew exactly what to expect, and that is Genesis Abacab. Um, I know you know this record. Many of you watching probably are quite familiar with this record, Genesis Abacab. Um, the first song is the title track, and, uh, you know, it's a lengthy song, and I know it so, so well that I wanted it to be the first song that I ever played on my turntable. And uh, I don't regret it to this day, because, you know, I was so excited and so thrilled that um, it was just an overjoy kind of moment for me to uh, have uh, a new for me turntable. It's vintage, but you know it was it, it was redone. It had all all new belts and new wiring, and it was detailed. And I had put a brand new top on it, uh, you know, a protective cover, and uh, you know it was just a thrilling moment. So something I'll never forget. So, question number one. Question number two is, what is your favorite live album? Live album. Well, you know, James, you know me pretty well, so I'm sure you know what I'm going to pull out here. But it's not for the reasons that you probably think. The fav my favorite live album of all time is, of course, Wings Over America. And I'm showing this purely because of the weight. You know, the weight is what gets it for me. It's so heavy. You know, this is a box that's got like three books and five CDs and a whole bunch of extra stuff and postcards. And it's like, I don't know, that would be close to like eight pounds. So it's just pure, purely on weight. If it wasn't heavy, it wouldn't be my top live album. It's just entirely because of the weight. 
<laughs> Again, of course, I'm joking. If you've watched my Paul McCartney video, which I know you have, um, this is not only my favorite live album of all time, but it's probably one of, if not my favorite album of all time. I have played this since I was about six years old, faithfully, every chance I can get, and this is, of course, the deluxe CD edition that comes with all that fancy books, and, you know, I probably could show everything, but, you know, I, I do plan on doing a complete video on this at some point, so I'll probably save that for then, and just let everyone know that it's got a lot of stuff in it, it's really heavy, so that, again, you know, just pure weight, that's the only, only reason I picked that one. Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite soundtrack? Favorite soundtrack is really, really tough. I mean, where do you go from there? Um, you know, I'm just not prepared at the moment, so I think I'm just going to have to take take a pause here and go pull it out. Bear with me. Just uh, going to pull it out here, guys. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, oh, oh. I can't find it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Here it is. All right, so this probably isn't a big surprise to a lot of you, but the best soundtrack for me is probably my favorite film of all time also, and that is the soundtrack to the film E.T., The Extraterrestrial. I absolutely love John Williams. I love his scores. I love Star Wars and Superman and Indiana Jones, and everything he touches seems to turn to absolute magic, and, um, you know, I guess it was Steven Spielberg himself that writes on the back of this. For me, John Williams is... It's the best work for from all of his movies, and John Williams is E.T. So, um, you know, he was such a big part of that movie. The soundtrack is very recognizable. You've, you've heard the music so many times, probably, and, um, you know, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal film score. And it did win the Academy Award for Best uh, Original Score that year in 1982. So that, for me, is my number one soundtrack of all time. Sorry, I didn't have it handy, but uh, you know how those things go. Okay, show us the best picture color, pic picture vinyl or color vinyl that you own. Well, you know, I'm going to go right back to Magoo. Magoo is the favorite picture or color vinyl in my collection. And I'm going to show you the color because it is spectacular. And you're going to be overwhelmed and overjoyed by the color of this record. Wait till you see it because it's just going to blow your mind. But the color itself is black. Black is a color, people. If you haven't thought about that, it is a color. So again, of course, I'm joking. Just trying to have a bit of fun. Uh, I know what you mean. You want a picture of disc or you want a color vinyl. And the one I picked is a band that I don't know if you know or not. It's not the most spectacular record I have. It's not the prettiest. It's not the... Um, you know, most outlandish splatter, marble, you know, crazy picture disc or anything, but it is Beach House Bloom. This is a record that came out of, let's see the year here, 2012, and it's just an absolute brilliant album. It's my favorite album of the 2000s, so for the past 15 years, this is the album that stands out to me as the very best album out there, uh, Beach House Bloom. And it really isn't all that fancy or unique or different, um, but to me, the reason we buy music is, number one, first and foremost, always because we love the music, not because it's color or fancy or splatter or got, you know, special things about it. This is just a nice white vinyl. It's beautiful. You know, of course, you've all seen white vinyl before, so it isn't anything that you're going to jump up and down about. But it is one of the best records I own, and it is certainly my favorite record in the past, um, you know, 15 years, so... I had to show that one, James. That was the one that, uh, and I don't even know if I've ever talked to you about that record. Okay, next question is, show me a box set. It can be anything of my choice. Well, again, you know, going back to what I said earlier, it's all based on weight. You know, the heavier the box set, the better. And I don't buy things that are light. You know, it has to be a certain weight or I'm just not interested. So, you know, I could pull out this monstrosity. You know, you've all seen this one. It's it's quite heavy. The Beano, Beatles mono box. I've never opened it, never played it. You know, I've never heard the Beatles, really. Um, but it's heavy. You know, again, it's that damn weight. That's what I'm going for. Very heavy, heavy things. So, again, I'm kidding. It's not the weight. Uh, Y'all know the Beatles, but that's too easy. 
I want to pull out something a little bit different and something that maybe nobody else will show, and that is the complete book edition of my favorite cartoon of all time, Calvin and Hobbes. This is a three-volume edition of the entire work of the author Bill Waterston, is it? Bill, let's see, yeah, Bill Waterston. He wrote a, oh, he wasn't around for that long, you know, he stopped doing this probably close to 20 years ago now. And this is the complete edition of all of his cartoons for Calvin and Hobbes. And it's just such a beautiful collector's item. Let me just pull out one volume here and show you quickly that, um, you know, it really is just what exactly what it is, all of his cartoons through the years. And I'm just so proud to own this thing because I've loved it since I was a kid. And it just stuck with me as an adult. Some of it is just silly, but it's just, you know, it just fits me to a, to a T. This is Calvin and Hobbes, the complete Calvin and Hobbes by Bill Watterson. So that is my box set that I wanted to show you guys. So did I answer all five questions for his five million subs? Let's see. First record I ever played, first live album, or favorite live album, favorite soundtrack, uh, yes, best picture, color vinyl, got it. Box set, got it. Okay, well, let's see. Um, I hope I win a record. You know, you, you've got my address, I think. If not, I can certainly give it to you. So, you know, with any luck, I'll be the winner. Um, no, I'm kidding again. I know you're going to get a ton of entries. This is going to be a huge success for you. You'll probably be at 600 subs before the two months is over. It's a long contest. So I wish you the best of luck, James. You are an incredible person. Just a, really uh, one of the best friends I've ever had. So thank you so much for bearing with my silly humor, and I hope you found some, something funny in here, and I wish you the best of luck with your contest, mate. All right, take care. We'll see you soon, guys.